Hey everyone, welcome back to the Amazing Dogs channel. My name's Holly, I am a real life dog trainer, and today we're gonna to be talking about my favorite breed in the entire world, Australian Shepherds. I actually own two of these amazing dogs and they are absolutely everything to me. Sparky and Milo are just my kids. And so today we'll learn all about Australian Shepherds and how to find a breeder, how to decide if an Australian Shepherd is right for you and more. So first let's talk about the size differences between standard Australian Shepherds and mini American Shepherds. So I've seen standard Australian Shepherds really get up to a healthy body weight of 75 or even 80 pounds, which was okay and healthy for their frame for a pet weight and I've seen mini American Shepherds really max out around 40 to 45 pounds. Um, there isn't really any temperamental difference between them. It's really just that size difference. So now let's talk about activity level. So these dogs were bred for the farm historically, and obviously a lot of them are not herding dogs these days or even used on a farm, but that doesn't change where the heck they came from genetically. So yes, they do have lots of training needs and very high activity levels every single day. So if you're someone who's just looking for a couch potato buddy, this dog is not for you. But if you're looking for a dog that loves hiking, loves training every single day, and really has the drive and capability to go all day long, these dogs are right for you. So now let's talk about their color variations. And oftentimes I see people who got into Australian Shepherds just because they really wanted that beautiful blue merl. But please hear me out. I love all of the colors. And if you contact the right breeder, you will get uh, matched with the right puppy. Your search starts on the AKC Finder website and this is exactly what I would do if I was searching for a new puppy and I didn't know anyone in the industry. So first off, go to the link in the description and I will walk you through it all. Once your search query is finished and you have all these people showing up within a 50 or so mile radius of these kennels, um, the first thing that I would do is go to the Sire and Dam website and you've seen that they have genetic testing. Um, that they have confirmation titles, that they have a variant of sport titles in there, um, then you might consider that this is a good breeder. However, we want to go to their application. We want to see that they take a deposit for a puppy. We want to see that they have a spay neuter contract. We want to see that they have a, a take back um, part of their contract if the puppy or the dog ever ends up in a shelter or if the owner decides that that dog is not right for them and they have to get returned. Hey everyone, it's Holly from Editing and I totally forgot to say like and subscribe if this was helpful at all and I'll see you guys again soon. Um, if you have any recommendations that you need Need or any breeds that you would like covered, be sure to drop it in the comments below and I'll see you guys again very soon.